Today, we're pitting two products against each other that you've probably never seen. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video, and these products that I speak of are deluxe editions. Check this out. Do you have any idea what set this is from? It doesn't say it anywhere except on the bottom. Like, is this the original thing, the Duelist Alliance Deluxe Edition? So if you don't know what a Deluxe Edition is, this is like a different version of a Special Edition. It's like pre-Special Edition. I think they actually had Special Editions at the same time. But they thought, you know what? Let's do a different version. Let's do a bigger version. Inside, I think there's like nine packs, some promos, and stuff like it. We're gonna open them up, you're gonna see. So we will be putting Judgment of the Light Deluxe Edition versus, what was this again, Duelist Alliance? Yeah, I can't even remember because it doesn't say. What in the world? And every card in this video will be given away to one of you guys. Just make sure to like the video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments, have you heard of the Deluxe Edition before and do you like them? All right, let's start off with this Judgment of the Light Deluxe Edition. I'm not really sure how to open this thing. Honestly, this one's a little bit different than the other one. The other one is just like a... A box that you keep cards in this one looks like it actually has some cardboard around it so we're gonna figure this out judgment of the light deluxe edition nine boosters and more so we get nine packs you also get promos now i gotta figure out how to open it there we go this is the same thing except this one is just straight up wrapped so i wonder if this was supposed to originally have no it's konami wrapping so they just were like you know what we don't need that anymore all right let's go let's see what we get this is a lot of packaging for not much the good thing is these are very useful for card storage i really like these things they're actually really useful to have so they're a lot like uh elite trainer boxes in pokemon so stuff like that so there's the judgment of light special edition beginner's guide if you're starting in judgment of light which was forever ago you also get some sleeves which is cool these are nice for um selling stuff shipping in an extra sleeve and then you get the archfiend emperor the first lord of horror there's also another card inside let's see what it is all right there we go oh my goodness oh my goodness oh there's three cards there's flying sea and then dragon shield very cool so you get three promos in that one that's pretty nice let's just open both of these at the same time and then we can like alternate packs and see which one is better this will be dual alliance is pretty fun so i'm pretty excited about this let's see what we can pull pretty just weird pack like packaging i don't know how i feel about this one it's very confusing about what set you're opening so we get our basically the same thing here even though these are a little bit apart in terms of the years duelist alliance is a really nice set though so i'm pretty excited to open these nine packs you get your beginner guide as well if you're starting around that time but it looks like there's no sleeves in that one so they said no sleeves for that one that's interesting okay no sleeves in the duelist alliance but that's cool we get the uh, hip hippo we get the yang zing the wonder balloons the despot 002 and the hexateller knight so is there any sort of different? Yeah, the E and D. So I guess that's for the uh, Deluxe Edition. Okay. The D for Deluxe. All right, let's start off with Judgment of the Light. This is a pretty fun video because I've not opened a lot of Deluxe Edition. So I'm pretty excited to check this out. Let's see if we can pull a Ghost or Star Eater. Not that we've done that recently. Okay, we did it. Go check out that video. It was crazy. Glue has Drum Dragon, Drum Dragon the Ward. We got the Bougie Infidel, Super Defense Robot, the Flying Sea, the Star Seraf Sword, number 102, Star Seraf Sentry, and the Fire King Avatar Yaksha. There is a super rare. We did open a ton of Judgment of the Light the other day because Kaz sent a ton in and we had some pretty good luck. Who do you guys think will win this battle between Duelist Alliance and Judgment of the Light? It's going to be interesting. I'm probably going with uh, Duelist Alliance because I think it's a better set overall, but it doesn't have Chicolate, so that's one thing. Lancia, good card. Battle Guard Rage. We've got the Metaphist Armed Dragon, the Fishborg Doctor, got the Monarch Stormforth, another good card. Satella Knight Vega, Exchange of Night and Day. Pormapau Whip Snake and the Shadal Core, another super rare. These are not guaranteed, by the way. So we are hitting some nice stuff. It's weird that Judgment of the Light is actually older than Duelist Alliance, if you think about it. It's kind of weird. Just because I feel like I see this pack a lot more often than Duelist Alliance, even though we do see Duelist Alliance in those monster boxes a lot. So maybe, maybe not. Fire, fa Fire Ferret, the Warg, the Spell Recycler, Super Defense Robot, the Umbral Horror Uniform, the Fishborg Archer. Sargasso, the Confronting the Sea, and the Umbral Horror. How many Chigalotzes will we pull? So far, we're 0 for 2 pulling them out of packs. All right, it's one foil to one foil, both super rare, so we're pretty neck and neck right now. We've got a long way to go, though. Several packs each. Let's see what Duelist Alliance can pull. The Area, the Battle Guard Rage. Oh, we rocked some special recover. That's the first one. We're going to keep it to that. Hymn of Light, not doing another one. Hip Hippo, so it's cool you get a common and an ultra printing in the same set if you get the uh, the promo. UA should all beast, good card. Oh, and an El Shadal wind. Uh, man, a lot of people hate this card, but this card is nice in my invoked deck. So there we go. El Shadal wind. Uh, we pulled it ourselves. That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't even realize that originally came in here, but it makes sense. All right, Window, that's a good pull. I bet that's got some value. I know it's been reprinted a few times since then, but still very nice. We got the Junk Blader, 
Xe's reception. Trap tricks Nephethys, the Calibrator, the Fishborg Archer. Intercept Tomato, the Xe's reversal. Brotherhood of the Firefist Boar. And Umbral Horror Ghoul. All right, the Ghoul. Onto the Duelist Alliance pack. What shall we pull here? Will it be a Ghost Rare? We could pull a Ghost Rare out of here. Or Ultimates out of both these sets and Secrets. A lot of good stuff. Chakram, the Skeet Skimmer. Skeeter Skimmer. Despot 01, the Howling, the Shadal Falco. And the Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler. He's blue and he's brawling. All right. On to the Judgment of the Light with the Chicolates. Will it be in here? Chicolates is the only way to win. We got the Umbral Horror. The uh, Sword. The Monkey. We got the Caesar. The Bujim Fidel. The Calibrator. Kunja Kunja Ku. The number 104. And the Armageddon Destroyer. So, Battles of Legend, Armageddon Destroyer. Okay, the 10K Dragon. Whew. Also, speaking of, if you did not see my uh, YouTube short, my TikTok, my Instagram uh, reel, whatever it's called, we are doing a live stream tomorrow opening an entire case of first edition blister packs um, Rising Rampage. So, we're looking for that Opelosa, most expensive Starlight Rare in Yu-Gi-Oh!, so be there, live stream, 2 o'clock tomorrow, Central Time. It's going to be fun. Lancia, I'm excited. I think we're going to pull something crazy. I hope we are, at least. Uh, Dijin, we got the Sonata, the Breaker of the Dark Magic Warrior, and the Draco Sentient. So if you guys are interested in that, come hang out on the live stream, live on YouTube. Okay. Do, do a... Uh, let's see what Judgment can pull. So far, just a super out of the first pack. Nothing since. Fencing Fire Fair, the Black and White Wave, the Bujingi Wolf, Sargasso, Star Seraph Sword, the Verse Glasses, the Bujing Incarnation, and the Cheap, 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 Cheap. All right. That's a little cheap. Okay. We're trying to pull something good. So far, no luck. No luck so far. Now can we get an ultimate, a ghost, something insane, Cloud Castle, Him of Light, Secret Rare, Hip Hippo, UA Stadium, White Prince, UA Perfect Ace, and the Hippo Carnival. Okay, three foils so far out of how many packs? Maybe like 10? It's not too bad, actually. Intercept Tomato. Very cool card. Oh, no! I did four by accident! Number C39, Utopia Ray Victory. By the way, this is a huge card. By huge, I mean for a super rare, it's huge. It's like 10 bucks. That's a very good super rare. Very nice. I don't think they ever reprinted it, so very good card. We ruined the... Uh, we ruined the suspense, but that's okay. The googly has grum, grum dragon, the drum dragon, the grum dragon, the drum dragon. All right, so we ruined that. Let's try not to do that this time. Resonance Insect, very good card. Got to reprint, though, so it's probably not worth anything. Recover, we got the 9 volt, we got the Unkali, we got the Resonance Insect, the Swordsman, the Feast of the Wild, Should all Hedgehog, Face Off, and Area of the Melodious Diva. No, no Melodious, not interested. Stay away from me. All right, let's go. Three packs. Yellow Dustin. Three packs left of each, I think. Turtle. Recycler. Brother of the Firefist Caribou. The Humble Horror Uniform. The Vertical Landing. Vein Betrayer. Archfiend Eris. And a Sonic Boom. Very nice. This is the fifth to last pack. Third to last of Duelist Alliance. So far, Duelist Alliance already has... Well, do they have the lead? Actually, Victory could be more than Winda. I'm not sure. Lancia. We got the Alpha. We're probably pretty neck and neck. Swordfish. They do have this pack, though. So they are a pack ahead. Let's see if they can pull anything. Sonata. Yangzing Unleashed, Panzer Dragon, and ooh, a super rare Beyond Earth of the Yangzing. I don't know if this is worth much. I'm guessing no, it's just a super rare, but I could be wrong. So still pretty close, I think. I think we're pretty close in this battle. I think it's going to be pretty intense. Who's going to pull it out, guys? Let me know in the comments. Super Defense Robot, Star Seraph Sage, Super Defense Robot Monkey. We got the Atmosphere, the XC's Agent, Kujikachiku, the Mech Phantom Skull Wing. Archfiend Emperor, the First Lord of Horror, and not a super. I thought it might be a super, just a con. Three total packs to go in this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this, because we got some more stuff coming up. Here we go. I believe Shadal Squamata, Stellar Knight Alpha, Gaia the Polar Knight, Performer Pal Hip Hippo, him of Light. We're going to summon that Sephira. Battle Guard Howling. The UA Stadium. And that's just a rare Flash Knight. And the Hippo Carnival. It's coming down to the last two packs, guys. It's very close. Two foils on this side. Three foils on this side. But I think that we're pretty even in terms of value. Whew. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull a Ghost Red end it? We have the Bujin Regalia the Sword. The Sargasso Lighthouse. Super Defense Robot Leo. The Azerort. The XC's Reversal, Star Seraph Scout, The Calibrator, Torbus to the Forbidden Realms, and 
Star Seraph Sage. Oh, this is going to be close. It's down to the final pack. The final chance for Duelist Alliance Deluxe Edition to beat Judgment of the Light Deluxe Edition. Whew, let's go. I believe. Cloud Castle. We got the Agent of Entropy at Uranus. Okay. Arm Dragon. We got the Swordsman. <laughs> Feast of the Wild, level 5. Hushadal Hedgehog. Guy of the Midnight Sun. I don't even remember that guy. Super Every Samurai Benkai and Big Benkai, I should say. And the final pack. What will it be? Will this win the battle? Oh, it's a secret rare time space trap hole. Now, I don't know if this is a crazy card, but if it was even before, this should definitely put Duelist Alliance ahead. Let me know what you think. Who won the battle? We're going to have a, a, a total price pop up. But if you guys have a different opinion, you think the price shouldn't matter as much if it's really close, let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Stonefoot Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Might, Nance, Mimic Echo, Daxter, Yu Musu, Junior Barning, and Untie Show, JT Cho, and David FJ. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.